ABC 7 is the official home of the UTEP Miners, and I'm happy to be joined by the new head coach of the UTEP women's basketball team, Coach Keith Adams. Coach Adams, uh, welcome back. Thank you. It's great to be back. Uh, let's talk about, first and foremost, the timing of everything. Why coming back to UTEP and why was now the time to come back? Great question. You know, um, the love I have for the city and, and the community, and I think um, for me, it, um, is a, it was my home. I was here for 16 years, and uh, I went back to my original home. I have two homes in my life, Kansas one and El Paso is another. And so when this opportunity presented itself, um, it was just a really clear picture. And Jim and I had great conversation and happened pretty quick, and uh, it feels great to be back. But the love for the city and the people um, yeah. is why I'm back. And I know, you know, Miners had success last season coming off a 20-win season. Excellent season. season. Uh, appearance in WNIT as well. Yes. How do you go about, you know, convincing those players, you know, to, to stay with the program? Well, they've got to feel comfortable. I think that uh, I've had great conversation with them um, and we'll continue to do that. Um, anytime there's a coaching change, you can just expect that the roster is going to change. That That's just how it happens. And then with the portal, um, even if you don't have a coaching change, the roster is probably going to mm -hmm. change. It's just the new it's the new world we're in. So um, we're going to work through that. We've had great conversation with them. And bottom line is we want, we want players to be here because they want to be here. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I'll continue to have dialogue with them, and we'll work our way through it. Conference USA has also changed since yes. the, the last time you, know, you were with the minors. Uh, new teams coming in, including our neighbors up, uh, up the road here on I-10 yes. in, in NMSU. How are you looking forward to you know, now those NMSU Battle by 10 rivalry games mean more now? Sure. The, conference games. Uh, the rivalries are fun. I mean, that's why you do it. And it, it will be very exciting. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting the season started. But I need a little time to, to build our roster before we do. Right, exactly. Uh, you know, you started when, you know, Coach Haskins was still involved with the university. You know, he was at the games and everything. Just uh, your relationship with Coach Haskins. And what do you think he would say, you know, like you coming back home to here to UTEP? <laughs> well, I talked about it at the press conference. My dad is in, in heaven with Coach Haskins. And I think they're slamming some shots and they're both happy that I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> so la <laughs> last question I have for you, Coach. Uh, just your message to, to UTEP fans. You know, they're, they're very familiar with you. Just so uh, what do you want to, to convey to the UTEP fans out there? I think the biggest thing is I just want to say that I'm thankful and I'm an El Paso and my, my heart has never left this city. And uh, the love for the university and most importantly, the love for the people in the community is what brought me back. So what I'll say is I'm back and I need them back and I need them to bring some people with them and we've got to fill up the Haskins definitely. and get that thing rocking. So come back, I need you. Well, we are definitely looking forward to, to the, the basketball season coming up. My thanks again to Coach Keith Adams for stopping by. We'll be seeing plenty sure. more of, of you as the next season, as we look towards next season. But thank you very much, Coach, and welcome thank back. Thank you for having me. Thank you, and go Miners. Picks up. That's right. <laughs> back to you. Adrian and Coach, thank you so much.